There's a one-of-a-kind program being tested to treat opioid addiction among inmates in county jails, and it's already being hailed as a leading example of how to combat the opioid epidemic that so devastated New Jersey communities. Michael Hill reports on the medication-assisted treatment being used to curb New Jersey's drug addiction crisis. I overdosed 14 times. A heartbreaking heroin habit for this woman, broken when a jail journey introduced her to a new program last year. My life is really good right now, really good. And I owe it to the program. In July 2017, the John Brooks Recovery Center in Pleasantville launched medication-assisted treatment, offering methadone and counseling to the high number of opioid-addicted inmates of the Atlantic County Jail, and then linking them to help when they leave. Recovery Center CEO Alan Oberman says it's the first program of its kind in the state. The overall goal of that really is to avoid overdose. Federal statistics show an opioid overdose is 120 times more likely to kill men and women released from incarceration than the general population. At this point of the people we've been able to track, and there's been close to 300 people in the last year have gone through the program, we have, a, have a not had any overdoses. Oberman says methadone takes over the body's receptor sites, making it hard to overdose on heroin. That's why his mobile methadone program has found a huge clientele on the streets of Atlantic City. Leftover funds, thanks to Medicaid expansion, led the center to drive its bus where it had never gone before. Every day, this bus of the John Brooks Recovery Center goes to the Atlantic County Jail to dispense methadone to the inmates there who are in recovery. And they bring the inmates to the bus and we dispense methadone to them. For a lot of the people, we've solved the problem of being on methadone and then having that stopped. New Jersey offers medication-assisted treatment behind bars as well, estimating that 80% of state inmates with addiction issues were under the influence when they committed their crimes. And without any treatment, 75% relapses within three months. We're back at square one. Uh, if you're not addressing the root cause, if you're not bringing compassion and understanding and evidence-based treatment into the criminal justice system, you get a vicious cycle. At this roundtable, State Health Commissioner Dr. Sharif el -Nahal ran through a list of statistics showing high numbers of those arrested, imprisoned, and paroled opting for medication-assisted treatment and staying in treatment. Again, speaks to the unique value of medication-assisted treatment when you combine it with behavioral therapy and other social supports, uh, the results are staggering. Atlantic County leaders are urging their counterparts across the state to replicate their mobile model, acknowledging it took a huge buy-in from the county to get it done. Recent research proves that an opioid-afflicted individual is not a free-willed criminal. It takes away your free will just like emphysema it takes away your oxygen. The program has so much support here, the warden is putting a dispensing station in the jail. Atlantic County leaders say they're inspired by the results of reform lives and recovery and folks like this man whose addiction lasted eight years. Being in, on a, in jail and then coming out on methadone was probably the best thing I ever did and uh, definitely saved my life. In Pleasantville, Michael Hill, NJTV News.